All right, so the first thing we need to do is stop this project since we do need to rebuild this entire project. So we can delete our model.unquantified.tflight file. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had a huge sneeze. <laughs> and we'll delete our labels.txt file, okay? Now, let's go to our file directory and we'll go to our downloads folder since that's where it downloaded but I don't see our model.tf light file that's this should download it allow all right cool cool I think there's a notification here that I didn't click allow on so now I deleted those two files so I'm going to go into my file directory right here and I'm going to drag and drop these two files so the first one is this labels file and the next one is this model file okay whereas the labels hold our titles and classes and our model holds the binary format of our model so we're going to change this to labels.txt and now that our model.tf light file name has changed from model unquant to model we have to go into our home.dart file and where we load our two files we need to change the name and we'll change this to model.tf light to get our new file and the next thing we need to do is change the num results. So instead of two, we have five different classes. So let's rebuild this project. And that should be it for um, setting up the project for this new TensorFlow model. And it's pretty exciting. I mean, we built this neural network in TensorFlow. And what this gives you the opportunity to do is learn so much in TensorFlow and then you can if you already have that knowledge of TensorFlow then you know how to combine a Flutter application and a TensorFlow model and that I think is you should give yourself a pat on the back because that's amazing but now we have the capability of taking a photo and going into our camera roll now we can't take a photo because we are on an emulator but if we had this app on our device, it would work the exact same way. And I'm sure you guys would know that. But first thing we need to do is go to Google. And from here, let's get an image of, let's do a daisy. Okay. And we'll go into images. And let's find a nice photo. This is good. And we'll download this image. And we'll go back to the app. And now we'll go into camera roll. Oh, did I do the? Okay, so. All right, well, I guess we'll test it with this. <laughs> Not really what I wanted. What's going on here? Oh, I see what happened. Did I f forget to uh, pick image? I see, pick gallery image. All right, beautiful. So let's go here, camera roll, and let's grab this. And beautiful. We're getting our prediction. And if you want to just clean this so it's capital D, then all you need to do is go into this file and just change this to capitals, okay? And that would make it look cleaner. And you can really just play, play around with it, make it look even better if you wanted to. But this is amazing. We've got, we can predict five different flowers but we can we don't need to stop there now in the next app what we're going to do is we're going to build a specific neural network that will allow us to classify up to 131 fruits and vegetables